let's take a look at this man it's been a crazy day um i am not taking any shorts i i've said it before um i o i only trade with the trend so i am not going short what i do in at times like this i just stay out of the market um I try you could try it with some small positions and low leverage to catch one of the supports um, but I wouldn't short it I'm I'm not short unless it breaks down like uh, I don't know man I don't even know where I would short probably under 10,000 maybe if it were to go under 10,000 then it could definitely drop back down to the 9,000 support over here but under 10, I'm really not looking to short in this market. Um, I, I always trade with the trend. If we're looking at the trend over here. The trend is your friend, guys. People always panic with these drops, man. This is part of Bitcoin. Um, if you if you look at this right here, this is still a bull flag. You see this? This is a bull flag, guys. Let me see if I could draw it on there with one of my tools over here. Let me get this out the way. This is still a, a bull flag, y'all. And if if you look. There was a similar setup right here. So there's a very similar setup, these two areas. Um, as you can see, it stayed in that range for a while. Um, but it's very similar. What happened here? It consolidated for a while and then it took off so we might see consolidation right here it could be it could be a, a similar pattern right there we look further back I mean it looks good man we're still above all the moving average on the daily we're just I it looks like we're just gonna be consolidating here for a bit um but I am not shorting this uh what I'm trying to enter here is probably so the supports that we're on currently, we're on um, the 11.4K support, 11,400 support right here. Can you guys see that? My mouse, yeah. Um, it's definitely a pretty strong support. After that, we have 11,200 support. As you can see, it's a troubled area right here. So it's definitely a point of interest. And after that, we got the $11,000 support. So, um, yeah, so if we drop, if we drop below 11,400, we got 11.2, we got 11,000. From there, we're probably looking at 10,800 and 10,600 supports after 11,000. If it were to drop through all of those, then we'll be seeing possibly uh, 10,000. Uh, but we still got the 10,200, so more of a minor support. Then we got 10,000. If we drop under 10,000, we'll probably hit 9. That's the way I'm seeing it. If you're taking any trades here. Um, so for 11,400, it is a good support to enter on. However, you'll have to keep a pretty a pretty wide stop if you don't want to get stopped out. You basically have to go 
Um, and it is, the thing is, it doesn't even make sense to. So, usually you would want to go below the daily low, the low of the day, but the low of the day is under the next support, and it's over two hundred dollars drop. So to have your stop that wide doesn't make sense. So what I would, what I'm doing, I would keep it tighter. I'll probably keep it around here, 11,300, or you, ju you can just play it really tight um, if you just wanna enter the same trade every time. You can literally just enter the, every time, anytime it goes over 11,400, just enter it again. And if it goes, drops back under, just stop out. Like, it's fine taking small losses. We're not worried about small losses, guys. We're trying to get the, the big win. So all these little small losses, that's fine. If you want to keep a wide stop, then um, what I would do is, the thing is, since 11,200 is, is the next support, it's right there, I would just average down. So if I'm entering 11,400 and I don't want to have to keep buying in and I don't want to worry about stopping out, I'm averaging down at 11,200 and 11,000, honestly. Um, with a stop under 11, but that, that's such a wide stop. I wouldn't take that risk. I wouldn't take that trade personally. I'm just saying if you guys wanted to have a wider stop, that's probably what you'd have to do. Um, I'm keeping my stops pretty tight. Um, Luigi, what's up, man? Thanks for the follow. I'm keeping my, my stops pretty tight, probably between around $50 um, if 11,400 does take off then we're gonna definitely see 11.5 and 11.6 um, and if we get through 11.6 then we'll see 11.8 if we get through that then 12 12 uh, K again um, so yeah so we're we're looking at about a hundred dollars for the first target a hundred dollar reward so if you're taking a $50 risk, you're getting a one to two risk reward. Um, and then if it goes beyond your first target, you're, you're doing, you're more than okay. Yeah, everything, everything's red today, but I mean, that's part of it. The whole, um, uh, Equities market was red today. The stock market. I don't know if you guys follow the stock market. That was all red today as well. Let's go to Ethereum. Ethereum. And Ethereum was lovely earlier and went all the way up to 415 and then it just hasn't been able to break out it's been stuck so I'm trying to see the range for this because I know 480 I mean 380 is a pretty strong support here so um, it's kind of in the same spot it's literally following Bitcoin right now um, 380 is a pretty strong support for Ethereum. As you can see, if you look back, um, it had trouble right here at that price. It was resistance, it was support here, it was resistance here, it was support, 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 resistance, support, support, support. So it's a pretty strong support. Now the thing is, um, you can only hit the support so many times before you break it. So you have to keep that in mind. Um, you see it did, it did go way below support here, but it closed above it. Or it closed right on it. It closed just under 380. Um, so if you're taking a trade here, I would wait for it to go a little bit higher above 380. Uh, maybe 382 would be an entry. 
um, with a stop around, you know, somewhere under 380. It depends on your risk tolerance. Uh, your targets are going to be 385, 390, 395, 400. Those are basically the, it's basically every $5 it's been having trouble. I don't know why. If you look at it, it's moving in, in $5 increments. Yeah, so I'd be looking 382 entry, 400 is, is the ultimate target uh, but I'd be taking uh, profits on the way there uh, let's check out MKR requested by chipmunk I'm guessing you're trading it trading it uh, paired with USD Or are you trading it paired with uh... yeah this looks good yeah man this thing is on fire always wanted this kind of outro Wishing I could go back and tell everything I now know to a younger me, looking up at 23. Still it looks like here. Me, then let him know he yonder something, but he got some problems coming. You'll feel like you need a lot, but you'll act like you're wanting nothing. It's like you're paralyzed, can't move because you're terrified. Yeah, so 630, whole number, um, psychological <laughs> resistance there. Um, and then, of course, 640, psychological resistance again. Yeah, man. Uh, I'd be taking profits probably um, sometime soon if, if it starts dropping back down before 635. And then I'll have uh, breakout entries above 640. Um, and if it drops back down, then I'll just be buying back in. 600 is probably a good entry. But yeah, looks good, man. It's definitely going to get through there. Just has to get some more volume, probably. Oh, it's at 640 right now. So that's that's basically going to be the breakout right there. If it gets through 640, it could definitely break that. And let's see, let's see what target it could be if it gets through there. Looks like 680. Yeah, so probably I would guess 650 will be another psychological uh, resistance, and then um, and then 680 looks like a point of interest up here. G GBTC. That's the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust. For those of you that don't know, so GBTC is basically. Um, if you don't, if you want to um, invest in Bitcoin through the stock market, uh, the way to do that is through uh, GBTC. So I have I ever, I don't think I've ever invested in GBTC because. Um, Holding GBTC, you don't actually hold bitcoins. Um, you just it goes up and down. It does go up and down though. It is pretty much correlated with Bitcoin. It goes up and down with it. So it's it's pretty cool if you if you don't want to deal with um, you know exchanges and worrying about getting hacked and stuff like that. Um, but you still want to um, you know have some of your portfolio. Um, in Bitcoin, uh, GBTC is a good way to do that. So I'm looking at, let me go up to the daily. 
And you can see it's it's pretty much the same, a very very similar pattern to BTC, except you have all these gaps. The reason you see so many gaps here is because uh, remember uh, GBTC is, in, is with the stock market, so it's only open from 9:30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, so everything else is, and you know the cryptocurrency market is open 24/7. So. Everything else, it's it's gaps. But yeah, you see similar pattern here. This was a bull flag, bull flag breakout, consolidated. Now it, it, during the consolidation period, it did go drop a little bit lower, um, and then it just took off again. So what was the takeoff from nine, ten dollars to fifteen, almost fifteen? Yeah. After so after here, next targets are is going to be fifteen dollars psychological target. Um, looks like fifteen seventy, sixteen dollars. I'm sure it's going to be another psychological. Remember, whole numbers are always going to be resistance and support. So always just keep those in mind. So like, see right here, $16. That's $16.50. $17. Those are always um, going to be psychological supports and resistance. But, I mean, there's, there's not really any... You can't really get too much from from looking at these charts. Um, so if you are trading GBTC, I would just be more more so looking at Bitcoin because this is just gonna follow Bitcoin, and this has a lot of gaps in it, so it's it's gonna be a little bit harder to read. What in the world is playing right now? Hold on. Sorry guys, I have like a random playlist of music that you know is not copywritten or anything or it's free rights whatever you want to call it Luigi you do both okay cool yeah man um, there's actually a lot of different uh, stocks in the stock market that just follow Bitcoin that are just very correlated with it I know GBTC I know another one's uh, raid um, can't remember the other ones also any any uh, of the chips like Nvidia, um, uh, what's it called? I forgot the other ones, but any of the chips are also pretty correlated with Bitcoin sometimes, not always. All right, let's look at uh, BCH, see what, where BCH is at. If you guys have any questions, just uh, drop the question in the chat. And I am more than happy to answer if I can. BCH, same same pattern, same pattern as uh, Bitcoin. It is just correlating, it's just following it. If you look at it, it's it's a bull flag, same pattern. So here, um, it looks like it's at a support right now. So 280 seems to be the support here. Let's zoom in a little bit. Yep. So right here, um, 280 is a nice support here. If it does break down 280 though, it could have a nice little drop off. Looks like 270 is minor. 250 is probably gonna be the next one, I would guess. Yep, right here, 250. Yeah. So, um, so below 280, where we might be looking at 250 as a next support. Um, so you don't want to see how low it went here. Went down to 269. Yeah. So 270 is that other minor support that, we, that I just mentioned. Um, if you're taking a trade here, 280 is the entry basically. 
or if you want to be extra safe you can go a little bit above this maybe above 285 probably um if you enter 280 above 285 with a stop under 280 and then you're talking about your targets are going to be uh 300 it's going to be the first target 30 310 300 310 320 um, if you enter at 380, you want to have about a $10 stop. The thing with a $10 stop though, your first target is 390. So we're talking about a one to one risk ratio. <clears throat> Hold on. Cause this live Instagram live is tripping out. Um, yeah, so we're taking a 280 entry, probably going to have to do a $5, um, not even, we're entering at 280, I'll set my stop like at 277, first target 290, second target 300, third target 310, and then, um, Leave a runner for 320. Let's check out Ripple. Anybody in Ripple? It has not been doing much. It is stuck. Basically, I think last time we t we spoke about it, I forgot where it was last time. I think it had to be around 26, 27. Um. So yeah. So. I just don't, I don't like this pattern, man. Like it still is kind of a, um, a bull flag, but it's like, it's so weird. You know what I mean? Like it's still a bull flag, but with a pretty steep drop. You could probably pull up, let's see. Let's me put up one of these. So if we put it up here, let me see 2800. So it looks like 2800 was the n number that rejected it. So if we put it up here, there's a Fibonacci ret retracement tool. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Switch back to this. Um, you can see here that it's literally using the support right on the 0.382. Um, so if it does use this as support, and this is also the 2500 area. 2500 is a little bit higher. So look, it, it looks like it's uh, retraced down to the 0.382 on the fib so it could be a possibility to buy in here but um i am i am invested in ripple long term i'm not really looking at the short term right now uh i do still think it'll it'll get back up to a dollar it's just like everything else it's kind of correlated with um with Bitcoin right now. Leave that there. Let's see how that does on the next the next time we look at it. We're gonna look at LTC. Then we're gonna look at uh probably look at Link. I know a lot of people have been asking me about Chainlink and Tezels. If there's any other anything else you guys want me to go over, let me know. Eh, I'm not very excited about Litecoin. 
It's just not really much to do here right now. I mean, for long-term purposes, it's cool, but not really much to look at here. Look at Cardano, ADA, beautiful bull flag. This is on the daily too. Let's go down to the four hour. Sitting right on here. Yeah, so there's a good support to enter right here. This is zone 1200 zone looks like around there. Yeah, 1200 zone. I would wait for it to go back above 1200. By the breakout, probably we go up to about 1280 to 13. Got, got rejected here last time at 13, got rejected at 13, and the next one is 1365, 1400, that's 1380. Yeah, we could definitely see this run back up. Overall, it looks good. Link's been on fire. Man, I've been in Link for for a while. Let me skip this. Skip this song. Yeah. All right. Um, over here. Yeah, it's another bull flag, guys. So, good to enter. I'd be looking to enter around uh, $12.50. It's a pretty good entry. If you can catch $12, it's even better. But it looks like it barely nipped that, probably for like not even a second. It was probably there. Oh, $12.50. Good area. $13 is gonna be a minor minor resistance um, above 13 you could probably buy it as a little breakout entry and you can expect at least 14 from there so about a, a dollar profit um, yeah I'd be I'd be buying around 1310 probably with a stop Mm, it's kind of wide. 12.75, 25 cent stop. But we're talking about you're looking at about 40 cents. So it's about a one to two for your first target. Second target, you get 90 cents. Yeah. Third target, 1450. Above 1450 is a breakout, another breakout, so I would be buying there again. Let's look at. Tezos, XTZ. Um, it looks like over here is the same thing, man. A lot of a lot of these coins have very very similar um, charts right now. So it looks like so basically what happened was the charts, the altcoins, 
took off. A lot of them did. And now they're just kind of cooling down. As Bitcoin gains back some dominance. Um, and I think they're in for another run. That in 2017 that happened all the time. I don't know who was here during 2017 run. But um, this was very, very common theme over here. Just a bull flag. And take off. So support here is about 370. It didn't, it didn't even reach it. 375 to 370. I would want to buy at 370. 375 is alright. Um, yeah, other than that, I wouldn't buy anywhere until it passed $4. I'll buy a four dollar breakout. You could expect looks about forty cents, forty five. Yeah, four dollar breakout is what I would buy. Keep a stop under four dollars. That's pretty much it for that, man. Doge. I was getting a lot of questions about Doge about like three weeks ago. There's a thing with Doge, man. It has no purpose. So yeah, you can make money off of it. But you gotta understand what you're investing in is nothing. It's a troll. So if you're if you ever want to buy Doge. The levels that you're looking at is 25 Satoshis, right here. Anytime I've ever bought Doge is at 25 Satoshis. If you look at it, long, let's see. Long term, it's been a pretty good area. Right here. Over here, this was, what, two years ago, 2018. Yeah, this was the buy area from 2018. We bought right here. And look at the results. We have bought here. So this was 38-ish. Took off to 60 probably, 72. Then went back down, right back down into our buy. That time it hit 110. I remember that. Fun times, man. But you see, then it dropped back down. It dropped back into a buy. I think we tried to play it again. And when it broke down, we just got out of it. Um, hasn't really done anything else since. It did drop way down here. Then went, dropped to 22, went up to 37. And it's been around 25 for the most part, except this one week that it went from what was the low from 24 to 60 so I had a bunch of people asking me questions about it and then a but what sucks is a bunch of people bought up here and look where it's at now so that's why I always tell everybody know what it is you're investing in because this has no purpose it's just a troll it has patterns that if you follow the patterns, you can make money on them. Um, but if you don't know what the pattern is, and if you're not playing the pattern, if you don't know what you're doing, then you're basically you're probably gonna lose money. I'm trying to move this over here, my new buy spot. <laughs> this is my new buy area. Let me see how high do I want to just keep it right here. That's the new buy area. 